It's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to do my haul from the International Quilt Festival Quilt Show that was held in Houston, Texas last week. I attended November 1st and 2nd of 2019. So, here I am starting out with my threads, and I know what these threads cost because I got them at half off because I am a business, and I purchased bottom line I use bottom line colors on my long arm in the bobbins and then I also bought a few of the masterpiece spools I actually use those when I'm piecing I actually use large cones for piecing so I already had some in my stash but I went ahead and ordered some more and I think these were 40% off or somewhere in the neighborhood so I wanted to go ahead and show these because they were the bulkiest thing that I ordered. And future items that I will be showing you, I probably will not know the prices of everything. If I can find a link for you, I will make sure to get a link. Also at the quilt festival, I gave out these buttons that I made. It's a tea quilts button and it says tea quilters unite. IQF 2019 Houston, Texas and at the bottom it says thanks for your support. So I gave that out as well as T Quilts pen. I'm sure you're not going to be able to read that but a T Quilts pen with a stylus on the end and then it's an ink pen on the other end. So I gave those out as well until I ran out. I just took this one out of my bag to show you. One of the tea quilters, her name is Lois, she's called Lomo. She made me a luggage tag here, so I appreciate that, Lois. Thank you so much. And I just wanted to make sure it didn't have all of her information on it, but it has where I can put in my address in there. She has this on there, but it has her information on the front. But thank you so much for that. Another thing we did, we stopped at the Texas Visitor Center. And I picked up a map that I we didn't use. But I just wanted to show you what you can get from their Visitor Center. They actually gave us free postcards with their Visitor Center on it. And then, of course, some information. They even had stickers that she gave me and then one like that and then just a book on Houston that I picked out and again the map so on the way to Houston we stopped at two quilt shops and I purchased from quilts and quilts the fabric shop in Branson Missouri I just got their license plate it says so proud And I had gone to the quilt show with a two friends. And Ann, she had this one at home that was Oklahoma from 2017. The quilted, it says quilt spools, the quilted heart quilt shop in Newcastle, Oklahoma. So she gave me that and it also has a row by row pen in it as well. So I'll add that to my row by row collection. And one of these days, I'm going to start working on it. We also went to a quilt shop called Amy's Fun Fabrics and More in Hickory Hill. Or also known as Hickory Hill Quilts. And it was in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And I did not purchase anything there, so I have nothing to show. At the Houston Quilt Show... I purchased the catalog so I can know where the vendors were. It was a dollar. They do have information booths where if you didn't want to purchase the catalog, you could just um, go up to the information desk. But I didn't want to keep backtracking to do that. Got lots of papers, catalogs from people. 
a nice place to get a catalog from when you're at a quilt show is Urban Elements. They have a nice catalog of all of their quilting designs. Then you can mark off in the quilting book, in the catalog book, I mean, what you actually have in your stash. But that would only be Urban Elements. I found a booth that had some black zippers. I needed a 22 inch zipper for a pattern that I bought that you will see later. So they had these for 50 cents each. So I just bought $2 worth of black because that's a color that I always run out of. I have plenty of color zippers. This was a piece of fabric <laughs> that we thought was Shakita's and it was not. It's a piece of homespun in gray. So I got stuck with it because my two friends did not want it. It wasn't their, to their taste. It's not really to my liking, but I do have some homespuns. I found a booth that had some fabrics in it for $8.50 a yard. They had a lot of the grunge. So I purchased one yard of this yellow grunge. And I purchased two yards each of these two grunge. I'm going to actually use this in a project for my scrap club. That's why I need to get this haul done so I can get started. It's due at the end of the month. And I also purchased a piece of coral fabric, but I can't show you that because I have to use it in a challenge quilt that's due next June for my quilt gill. So I don't want everybody to know in the gill what fabric I chose. <laughs> All right, so I bought some trim. And I'm going to have to unroll this so you can see the other piece. But this is a piece of trim that all of this has already been stitched down for you and then it's on this backing and this was four no 5.95 a yard and then these are the wash instructions in here and i purchased two one piece at a yard and a half and one piece at one yard this is for uh, this top one is the one that's most important. I bought it so that I can start a tote bag for a Christmas gift. This piece of fabric came from Alfonso's. Said that they accept wholesale and retail and we ship worldwide. They are from Brazil. And I purchased this fabric to support their booth. I've just been knowing, I've uh, seen them at the show for years and talking with them. And so this piece of fabric is, uh, changes, it goes from dark to light. And you can use this one piece of fabric in, say, like one of those collage quilts. You've got all of the color range from your very lightest to your very darkest. So you can see the contrast from lightest to darkest here. But I bought this. It's about 55 inches wide by maybe a yard and a quarter. And it was $21.95. They already had these pre-cut. So I think I will probably be doing some collage at some point. So I thought that I would support their booth. And then I purchased these. This one is a tie and just a black solid print or tone on tone print. And then this one had tennis shoes, headphones, and cassette tapes. I thought I could maybe use that in an ice spy quilt or some of those in an ice spy quilt. And then I did buy one African panel. This panel was $35. It's actually another gift for Christmas, right there. And I purchased it from AfricanEverything.com. And I purchased it from Mary. She's really sweet. And I just fell in love. I love when you have people in the panels. And so I just purchased that from her. And I just had everything rolled up here. Let me put it back. <laughs> So I know where I got it from. So that's one bag. And then also when I purchased the other trim, 
they gave me this smaller piece uh, for making a purchase just on their uh, card so that you can know where you got it from it's pretty cool and you can even use it if you are doing something where you just need a little small accent of something So I'm going to start here with Urban Elements. I was actually in the bag collecting process. <laughs> I do keep and recycle bags. I use them for my groceries. I also will give them to people. I have them in my car. They need a bag and they don't have any. Especially when I go to like Aldi's where you have to pay for your bag. If I see some seniors or something in there, I'll just give them bags. But I purchased four pantos from them. One of these pantos was on sale. And I don't remember. Maybe it was Ambrosia, which was on sale. But here's how Ambrosia looks. And then the other ones were at regular price, $16.50. This one is called Knit One pearl two see if I can zoom in a little bit so this is knit one pearl two thought it would be great to quick quit for quick quilting some charity quilts as well as quilts where people don't want the design to take over their piecing this one is called marmalade and I like all of the spirals in here and then you can add the circles or dots on there, but you could also ignore those dots. You don't have to stitch those. And I probably would do this without stitching those dots. And then this one here, I purchased because I did it freehand. And after a while, I got tired of trying to figure out where I need to go next. So I thought that I would buy this. It's called Buy House. And that's the design there but I have done this freehand and then they also had catalogs they put a I got a tattoo elements catalog and then an applique elements catalog and then all of that was inside of the urban elements bag so I'll be putting that up <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the bags that I collected because those need to come out next. We had Baby Lock had a bag. Very nice bag with a snap in the middle. Homestead Hearth, which is in Mexico, Missouri. Janome Sewing Machine Company. Rainbow, which is a... Uh, a cotton distributor where connecting threads fabrics are made off from rainbow cottons. Also have knit picks. Has a bag. Homestead hearth again. And maybe that is it for the bag. So I'm going to change my camera battery and I'll be right back. Next up, we had Quilt Easy. They were handing out my stash is bigger than yours. Uh, drinking cups where you can put your fruits or like your lemon and limes in the bottom in your water. From Homestead Hearth, I purchased two things from them. I purchased this amazing grace panel. Let me zoom in on it so you can see it. I have uh, quite a few people that I think that this would be a great gift for if, um, if I don't keep it for myself. And it is a quilt panel by Moda. And then I also purchased another one that says use kind words. So you can kind of see that. I'm sorry about the glare, guys. I purchased, oh, these panels were $39.99 each. They were not on sale. That's regular price. I purchased this piece of scrap leather. And I'm blocking from where it's from. If I come across the paperwork, I will let you know. Um, 
yeah but it was twelve dollars for this one piece that's about a ten by ten Kevin the quilter has a pattern that is called good night Darlene it is ten dollars he was kind I was gonna purchase it from him but he was kind and gave it to me instead very nice pattern instructions this is the list of the teachers that taught at the education in the education hall or the free demonstrations hall. They had about 20 minutes each to do demos. So I partook of that. I have another bag here, just a plain bag. I'm not sure who gave me this particular bag. AccuQuilt Go was there. I wanted something to go with my 9-inch mix and match Go quilt uh, set. I wanted the companion for that, but they didn't have it. But I... That's not, that's not what I'm talking about. But I got their catalog instead. And then she did give me a code where I could have gone and got the show prices. But I'll, it'll go back on sale pretty frequently, so I didn't worry about it. I got an r fill thread chart, or not necessarily a thread chart, but I got an r fill booklet here. I haven't even looked at that. And this is for connecting threads. They have free shipping on your next order. Use code HOUSTON19 at checkout. And I'm sure it says valid on U.S. and Canada orders of $35 plus, ends 12-319. And then I also got a connecting threads catalog, although it gets mailed to me. And I think that stuff was just put in the bag because it's some pins down there that I haven't gotten to yet. They had the World of Quilt Travel was there. They passed out a lot of information uh, about their trips. They had a thing going on where you were wearing a sticker and if they saw you, you would win a prize. I did not get chosen for the prize. I got so much stuff, y'all. I got, I think I picked up some of these things when I first came in. The Gourmet Quilter was there. Uh, Custom Keepsakes in the Hoop was there. And All About Blanks was there. I didn't purchase anything from them. As well as Studio Cat Designs were there. And I don't think I purchased from them either. I did purchase a bag pattern from someone else. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, CaraQ Premium Refined Shea Butter was there. Studio 180 Design with Deb Tucker was there. The Featherweight Shop was there. I didn't purchase anything from those companies. However, GE uh, quiltdesigns.com was there, and I purchased this Lucy pattern. Let me see if I can take this out so you can see the quilt. And they are very excellent pattern writers. Uh, this pattern was $10, and it was worth the $10. I paid a lot more for patterns. And it was not worth the money. I bought something only for my YouTube. I don't um, even know anything about these. They've been out for a year. They're called Sew Tights. They're magnetic sewing pins. A way to pin when you can't. So I am going to be doing a YouTube video on this. Um, my receipt's not in a bag, but I think I paid forty dollars for ten of these that are for pinning your thickest projects. They don't have. They call this one HD. And then I also got the regular ones. So it is a five pack of each of those so I paid forty dollars for those and then with that I got this pack here free so it has another size that's even lighter so it goes this orange and these 
teal colored one is pretty light the sea green one kind of so i'm going to be doing a youtube video on that to see how they work if they're uh in comparison with using binder clips i got our fill card our fill accu quilt <laughs> um Kathy's Creations, Thimbles, Patterns, and more. Quilt Easy card. Okay. So here's a Connecting Threads pen I was telling you about earlier. <laughs> Oops. So I'm just going to move all of that back. I got some receipts here. Another Connecting Threads pen. And then this is what I actually purchased from Connecting Threads. It is 24 fat quarters in this stack. And it was $39 for 24 fat quarters. And I told you all that... If I can find fat quarters where they're like less than $2 a fat quarter and I like the pack, then I will buy it. And the reason why I purchased it is because I am currently into fabric that has tax on it. I've been, you know, looking and buying a lot of that. So that is why I purchased that. And that's the only thing that I purchased from Connecting Threads. I stopped by the Gamma booth and I got my Elevate Your Quilting pen from them with a lanyard. I also got a pen from Gamma. It has Gamma right there. Then I went into a booth that had a lady from Brazil. I can't remember where she's from. I want to say she was from Brazil, but I'm not really sure. But her name is Anne Constantino. She's from, yes, it is Brazil because it's BR right there. BR. So here's her name and then here's her actual website. I'm hoping it will focus. And they had patterns, six for $25. So I thought that I would just get these as some door prizes. All different types of totes. And this one I may keep for myself because it's a phone and money bag pattern. Right there. Don't know yet. We shall see. And then I will show you this next item. <laughs> I purchased for $50. And... It's a kit for a tote bag. So let me open it up so you can see it. And then when I bought this item, they gave me this uh, flower fabric rosette pattern. Because they put those on some of their totes that were in the booth. So for 50 bucks, I got the fabric that I need to make the tote. I've got the hardware as well, and then a snap, and the pattern. And this is the tote that I had, the pattern that I have, and it actually has a clasp here that you can open this pocket on the outside. And so I thought that was really cool that they had that so I just went ahead and got the kit because the, it was only $11 cheaper without getting the fabric so it didn't make any sense not to get the whole kit and then as I said they gave me this for free so the fabric here it's like different fruits let me see if I can zoom you back out now <laughs> 
So the fabric is different fruits. And then this is the other side. It wasn't necessarily my fabric to pick, but I thought this was black. I forgot. <laughs> and it, I purchased this the first day, so I got those black zippers. But I do have other zippers that I can also use. And then this is the purple print that was in the kit. So all of this for $50 with the pattern. And let's see, a couple more things. Got uh, three more things here. Hoop Sisters was there. I purchased something from them last year. This time they had this hippo collage um, pattern. And you can make it for a girl or a boy by adding the tuto on it. And it is all done in the hoop. Quote as you go in the hoop. And then I also bought their ruler for squaring up. They wrapped it very well so it wouldn't break during travel, which was nice. It is the Tremor by George 2.0 uh, with Hoop Sisters. And I will be doing a review. And when I embroider, I will do an embroidery part. And then I will also show you trimming up the block in that. So you will get to see that. I bought the ruler as another YouTube video. And the last thing that I have, and I'm also going to do as a YouTube video is this sew a purse change a life for sewpowerful.org i don't know if any of you know of this organization but i want you to go check out this organization www.sewpowerful.org and what they do is they make this tote here that you see this young lady ha having and they send those to Africa or places where they don't have appropriate sanitary napkin needs for our youth. And they teach them all about their menstrual cycle so that they can go to school. A lot of the children don't go to school be when they're on their menstrual cycle, which means they're behind a week every month and by the end of the school year they're so far behind they tend not to graduate and then they use the purse so that they can um put the handmade sanitary napkins in and it's a lot more about this organization and i'm not going to go into it all right now but at the show they had a booth where they were giving people this card encouraging you to go to the website they have two patterns one is a the same bag with a gusset and one is the same bag without a gusset so your skill your sewing skill level uh, depends on which one you might want to make in addition to that they were there uh, selling kits for the purses already pre-cut you could get a kit for ten dollars and then you could also get the printed instructions for ten dollars in the booklet form and you do not have to buy the booklet because you can just go online and download this pattern for free. So if you go online make this pattern, please make one for the organization if you're going to also make it as a gift for someone. But please, please support this organization and this will also be another video as well. And so one final thing before I leave, I actually went to a meetup with Lori DeJarnett. I think that's how she says her name. And she had uh, old antique quilt blocks and she said that we all could get one. And she just wanted to see what it is that we do with the block. So you all, can, you all that know me know that I asked you all to send me churn dash block so I hurry up and grab the <laughs> churn dash block and what I'm actually going to do because the block was hand pieced I don't know how long ago but she wants us to reuse the fabric that's in the block so what I will probably do is just take this apart and re-sew it back together maybe even smaller in size so that's what I plan to do with this block and I will hopefully do a video on that one as well. So I got a lot of great ideas for videos in the future. So you all stick around and 
be patient with me as I'm getting through various things. And then we know the holidays will be here before we know it. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Also, join us Wednesday when we do live chat at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until next time, bye-bye, everyone.